Uh, my name's Akila. I'm a fourth year biological sciences with management student and I'm from Bangalore, India. Uh, one of the reasons why I did choose Imperial was because of the research expertise it had. Uh, when I joined Imperial, I didn't know what I wanted to specialize in, so the number of labs that were there with like diverse research topics gave me the opportunity to sort of explore different research areas, and now it's led me to specialize in the one that I actually like. As an international student, the application process was quite straightforward in the sense that you just sort of fill in your details into UCAS, and then you had to like, it's a pretty straightforward process, but the part of the application which which required the most emphasis or like the most time was a personal statement. Like I spent quite a lot of time um, polishing my personal statement, getting it read by many people from like diverse fields, just to get a perspective as to like what they think of it. So, uh, I'm on a four year course with biological sciences in the first three years and then uh, management in the last year. So basically I do a combined course with a business school in my final year. Uh, or in the three years of biology, I sort of start very generalized and then go on to specializing into the courses that you actually like by third year. So they're really advanced courses in third year. And then the business school is obviously a diverse set of courses with like, you know, accounting, entrepreneurship and innovation. Being an international student from India, it wasn't that difficult moving to the UK because there are so many things that make you feel at home here. If you're craving Indian food, there are so many Indian restaurants that you can go to. If you really feel away from home, then you can go and speak to all the number of Indian students that are at the university. And um, there are so many religious places of worship that you can go to. So you can go to the temple, you can go to the Gurudwara. So you really don't feel like you're not at home because there's a strong sense, there's a strong like Asian community that is here and it gives you a lot of support. When I was in first year, the two things that I considered for when choosing accommodation was the price as well as the distance, because considering the university is in central London, it was quite expensive, and I wanted to sort of save up in first year. So I put Xenia, Wilson, and Woodward as my choices, and I was allocated to Woodward. Although Woodward is like 40 minutes away, it's a sort of nice journey because you can walk through Hyde Park and sort of gets you charged up in the morning before your, like, your 9 a.m. lectures. The way I manage my funds is I allocate specific amount of money for different activities during the month. So maybe if it's like going out, groceries, bills, uh, that really helps because I know that if I'm getting close to my uh, limit, I just sort of control myself. And apps like Monzo have a feature where you can allocate that and then you can only spend it from that particular pot of money. I really enjoy living in London because there's just so many things to do, whether it's just going to the museum, which is right outside Imperial, or like going and seeing a Broadway show, which you don't get to experience anywhere else in the world. And it's just amazing because there's such a diverse set of activities that you can do and it's catered to every single kind of person. When I joined Imperial I knew clubs and societies was a big part of the university because it's got over 380 clubs that you can join so there's something catered to everyone and I knew I wanted to come and try something new so in the first year um, I ended up joining quite a few sports clubs and um, clubs that are associated with my with like the community, so like Indian society, Hindu society. At Imperial, there are a lot of facilities that you can use around campus. I tend to use the library a lot, especially during exam season. The, there is quite a lot of books and textbooks that you can refer to. There's a cafe right underneath the, on the ground floor. So anytime you need a break, a quick coffee, it's perfect. There are computers as well in the library where you can do, if you don't have your own laptop, you can go do your own research. And there are also group study areas where you can uh, help your peers during exam season. Outside Imperial, I do enjoy dancing a lot. So I go for the open workshops and dances in uh, central London. Another thing that I do enjoy doing is like taking weekend trips to like, you know, small cities like Cambridge and like Brighton because they're all very nearby. Uh, after moving away from home and studying internationally, it's definitely helped me grow as a person because it's allowed my personality to develop and I've also become more independent. By doing tasks on your own and like having this learning curve through daily life, you become more confident in your abilities and you know that you can get through this on your own.